This is a lesson about how to get organized with your bills for people that already have a little experience using Microsoft Excel. So let's consider it an advanced lesson. Oh, and before I forget, you can download this spreadsheet for free at www.missrevenda.com. Simply look under free lessons. Alright, now let's take a look at the spreadsheet. It has everything that's vital to maintaining your bills and staying organized. Even your status. Here, if you look, if I click on it, an arrow opens up. It's a filtering key arrow. And it says preset, meaning that you might be paying the bill online. Just because you've set it to be paid online doesn't mean it's been paid yet and then paid, the bill's already been paid, cancel, on hold, or moved. Then you have the company name, contact information, you know, everything that you need to know, especially like the account number, when you want to check on a payment. But these are some things I really love. The frequency of payment, whether you're going to be paying the bill bi-weekly, monthly, if it's a fixed bill, meaning after you paid it off, you never have to worry about it again. I like those. Or a yearly bill that you only pay once a year. Now the balance, that means, let's say for instance on my phone bill, even though I've already paid $20, I still have a balance left over of $3. And then, very important, your due date doesn't necessarily always mean that's your pay date. On this particular template, we have down that I get paid on the 15th and the 31st of each month. Let's see what happens if I only get paid on, I only want to pay my bills for the 15th. Now, notice I'm going to remove the check mark off of Select All. I'm going to highlight the 15th and I'm going to say OK. Now, it tells me that for the 15th, I have 426 bills. Uh-oh, uh look. That little um, funnel that's by the arrow, it lets me know that it's already filtered. But if I go over to status, look at this. Now, every bill is open. One has already been paid. So I'm going to click on the arrow, and I'm going to say I only want to see my open bills. So I'm going to click off where it says paid and say OK. Now it lets me know that for the 15th I only have to pay $406 worth of bills. So if you look where it says income after bills, right here, this is the formula bar and I've already put in my payment amount and I'm saying that I make $1,500 per month. Let's say that's not quite the case. Let's say I only make $800 per month. I'm going to put in $800. I'm going to make sure I go to the end and hit enter. And now you see I've changed my formula and it tells me that I only have $394 left to go shopping. <laughs> That'll make my husband happy. All right, let's see how I do if I want to pay my bills for the 31st. I go back to the filtering key. I unclicked the 15th, I clicked on the 30th, and I say OK. Hmm, now I have 526. I don't think I'm going shopping. Maybe I might go to the grocery store this time. OK, now you know your bills change from month to month. They're not always the same. So when you have to add in a new bill that's going to be something that's regular, you want to add it on your master. And let me show you how to add a new bill. We're going to tab over to the last line and then watch what happens when I hit tab one more time. Boom! It adds in a brand new line and I can say this is a bill. Let's say it's for my 401k plan. Alright? And then I can simply just add in the new information. And as I do, it'll change the numbers down at the bottom to give me a total count. Now, let's say I want to prepare for bills for the next month. Then I want to go down here to the tab and I want to right click. Ah, you notice the color of the rings were different? That signifies a right click. I want to go to where it says move a copy and I'm going to left click. Then I want to click on create a copy and I want to say I want to move it right before the sheet called master. And I'm going to say OK. Now it comes in as master 2. I'm going to double left click. I'm going to put in February 09 
and click off and now I'm ready for the February bills. You know one of the best things about this is at the end of the year you have a complete record of where you spent your money. Did you like what I showed you today? Well great. Remember you can get it for free. Just go to www.missrevenda.com click on free lessons.